Welcome back to DXB Today. And you know, we are always on the pulse for events that are coming up right here in the city. And so we are bringing to you more on the Meta Film Festival, where we are joined by another guest who is all the know about that very festival. Leila Masanai, how are you? Welcome. Thank you very much. I'm well, thank you for having me. Now, the founder and festival director, Meta is coming up. It's in November, I believe, Correct. the second week. Yes. Tell me more about why you wanted to bring this to the city. It's all about cinema and sustainability, isn't it? All right, so the answer, the short answer is why not? Dubai is a city that has everything. We have the best of best of everything and every concert, show, event ends up here. And so for a beautiful city to not have an international film festival for many years was a big question mark. Um, I started a cinema conference about six years ago um, and over the course of the last six years, the conversation with everyone has been the need for content di diversification and for Arabic content for the sustainability of this industry. Um, so last year, with all of our partners, um, we decided to launch our very own um, film festival. Meta was born and we are very proud to say that it is the only independent film festival in the Arab world. Um, now uh, gearing up for a second year. Amazing. So give us an idea of the sort of scale, if you can, as you said, into the second year. So obviously a lot of learnings from year number one, moving into year number two. Yeah. Is it spread across the city? Is it centralised in one place? Um, so. The, the core of the festival will take place at Wafi City and Vault yep. Cinemas this year. So the rooftop will be converted to the opening and closing ceremony. And for those of you who have been in Dubai know what an institution Wafi rooftop used to be. So we're kind of giving a nod to all Dubai days. Mm -hmm. um, the cinemas will host all of the theatrical um, screenings. And then we will have workshops and master classes that are spread between Wafi and some partners as well. And we will have some free screenings at uh, cinemas in their city centre. So for those who are you know, a bit further or don't have the budget to buy the 35 dirham tickets, they can go and enjoy some of the festival with their family. Now, Leila, I know that the festival is very new, yes. but from year one, have you managed to inspire any of the young people and are you seeing them doing things in gearing up for year two? Oh my God, yes. And I think this is what has kept us going. So the scale you talked about, we have had over 800 submissions this year from around the world, 53 different countries. A uh, committee of 12 people had to watch 800 films to select the best that are going to mm. be a part of this festival. We've also worked with lovely partners such as Front Row Entertainment who are based in Dubai and really travel around the world and buy all of the award-winning theatrical uh, masterpieces to be released in Middle East. Um, so we're working with those, I think we're looking at about 95 films um, that are going to be shown at the festival this year and it's already growing a community and an alumni. I'll start with an example of a lovely girl who attended from Yak Rak University last mm -hmm. year uh, along with her professor. She attended some of the workshops and master classes. She then um, ended up doing an internship for us uh, for the festival and we ended up hiring her. Um, so the um, and we had another Emirati filmmaker that had a short film at the festival last year and came and offered himself to be a jury. So everyone who was involved with the festival last year has come in and said, how can we support this? How, we, how can we grow this? Um, so the festival is growing and is growing larger than I had anticipated for just the second edition. So now I'm trying to keep up with this growth because <laughs> it's growing itself. 95 films is a lot. This might be a hard question to whittle down, but do you have any must-see films? Oh my God, there are a lot of must-see films. So if you are a fan of films that win Cannes Film Festival and Berlin, Berlinale and TIFF, so if you follow the international news and you know what the winning films are, every single one of them will be showcased at Meta um, Film Festival. So I would say look at the winning films at the big big festivals around the world mm. and pick your top three and you will be sure to find at our festival. So you know how there is no, it's like we were just having a conversation a minute ago about the musical talent here, there's obviously no shortage uh, of film talent here in Correct. the region, be that on the acting, front camera, behind camera or otherwise. One of the big grumbles I hear is financing of films. We hear a lot of big productions coming here, using the facilities etc, but getting independent films made here is that something that you'll be able to facilitate at the festival? Will there be some money there as well? Oh my God, uh, that's the million dollar question, <laughs> uh, pun intended. Uh, so yes, I mean, that is one of the intentions of the festival. This year we have about 15, 16 actually, master classes, workshops and panel discussions. And the aim of those is to introduce this, the, the, the young um, filmmakers to the opportunities that are out there. 
obviously naturally some of them will be on co-production and financing whether it's financing from local sources or international sources and we haven't even stopped there we're bringing um, film lawyers who can tell them how to present these contracts, how to write them. We're um, bringing experts that are going to teach them how to develop a pitch deck, right? So you have a brilliant idea, but if you don't know how to pitch it to the financiers, you may you know, not get the financing that you require. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the elements of the festival are geared towards ensuring that the young film filmmakers know how to go about this and where to find the money. And obviously there are a lot of um, local and regional and international producers that are gonna be a part of this festival mm -hmm. this year, watching some of the uh, short films and proof of concept. So um, there's gonna be people that are watching the young talent that are presented at this festival. So hopefully there'll be some contracts signed. I know of a few that are ongoing already, Ooh. so that's exciting <laughs> conversations. It's yes. been put to paper. Yes. Uh, just very quickly in conclusion, uh, when is it, where is it? So 9th to 12th of November yeah. at Vox Cinemas in Wolfie Mall and you can, um, Follow the website, which is metalfilmfestival.me, for all of the information and updates. Amazing, Mila. All the best with it. I know it's going to be a busy build-up, but thanks so much indeed for coming in and Thank sharing you very much. with us. Thank you very much for having me. Great. Now, one of the biggest events that happened over the summer months was, of course, the uh, completion of the longest Arab space mission in history. Six-month mission aboard the International Space Station. Astronaut Sultan al Niadi on board the mission received a hero's welcome as he made his way back to Earth. Here are... The top five things you didn't know about Sultan Al Niadi. UAE astronaut Sultan Al Niadi landed in Abu Dhabi on September 4th to a hero's welcome after a six month mission aboard the International Space Station. Here are five things you didn't know about Sultan Al Niadi. Dr. El Niedi broke a record by completing the Arab world's longest space mission. He also became the first astronaut from the region to conduct a spacewalk. Dr. El Niedi, father of six, was born in Al Ain. Dr. El Niedi took part in more than 200 experiments on the orbiting outpost that were assigned to him by NASA and universities in the UAE. His mission yielded pivotal data, especially on human physiology in microgravity. He is an engineer by profession. Truly a legend that is going to go down in the history books of the United Arab Emirates and the region as a whole. But we just learned five things about Dr. Sultan El Niadi, so I think it's time to learn a few things about our guest co-host Millie Millwood. So Nimi, if you would do the honours. Yeah, absolutely. DXB in 60. Now I know you were here previous seasons. It's very different this time, Millie. It's all about you. So we're going to put 60 seconds on the clock. I'm going to ask you as many questions as we can, and I can't decide if more. this is better or worse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready. We'll find out. Okay. <laughs> In three, two, one. If you were not an editor at Cosmo, what would you be? I'd work in the F&B industry. Okay. One thing you cannot live without? <laughs> My phone. <laughs> <laughs> Your hidden gem here in Dubai? The Artisan in the Waldorf DIFC. Okay. Top series you've watched this summer? I binged Squid Games yesterday from start to finish, nine hours, and I'm not sorry. Bit oh, late. Wow, well done. <laughs> uh, a book you're reading at the moment? I'm reading The List by Yomi. Okay. Uh, a top podcast recommendation? I love The Guilty Feminist. Okay. Your muse? Changes every day. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's you today. Oh, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> if you could hang with someone for 24 hours, who would it be? Anyone from uh, the cast of Friends. Yes, I love cool. that. Favourite place to find inspiration here in Dubai? The beach, just because if you go at sunrise, it's super quiet. Mm-hmm. Mm. Peaceful. The most interesting person you've met here in the city? <laughs> Everyone on these sofas. Yay, time Good answer. is up. See, you get extra points for that last one. You, you win. <laughs> yes. <laughs>
Uh, Millie, always good to see you. Thanks so much indeed for Thanks joining for us. Me. Will you come back and do it again soon? I will. You can't get rid of me at this point. <laughs> you have to come up with some new answers, though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> By the end of the season, we'll know everything about you, that's for sure. Uh, listen, we're going to take another short a breathe, but don't go anywhere. We are bringing you an exceptional music performance. Take a little look. Hey, hey we, we are, are the Ark. We're super excited to be on the show tonight. Stay tuned. <laughs> 